Agora TV. The world is thinking. What is Satellite Sentinel Project? In short, it's an act of collaboration and it's an act of integration of multiple human rights and technology functions into one system. It is about mapping technology, field reporting, and human security analysis coming together for the purposes of protecting civilians from mass atrocity and potentially genocide. So, how do we aim to protect civilians through this act of integration? What we can do is SSP can identify the movement, build up, and deployment of armed actors before abuses can occur. SSP is able to detect the first critical evidence confirming that a human security incident has, in fact, happened. SSP can collect evidence of humanitarian emergencies, such as internal displacement, the raising of civilian structures, and destruction of livelihoods. Uh, Satellite Sentinel has only been together four months, and in that four months, we have found that the assumptions we went into this project with about what we were actually doing um, are not, in fact, what we are actually doing. We came in to monitor. We came in to detect. We did not expect to have what I would call a kinetic counter-atrocity capability. And what that means in English, we didn't expect to be able to interact with the decisions that bad guys were making <laughs> and that people in trouble were making. We did not expect to have the interface with the environment we were monitoring that we believe we are having. How do we do deterrence? We are trying to limit the perpetrator's ability to deny having committed an abuse. We want to provide early warning that an attack may occur, allowing outside actors, the United Nations, humanitarian NGOs, the international community, time to pressure for a stand down on the potential perpetrator. We want to, going forward, create what I call an architecture of liability around the potential perpetrator. We want to create future liability, not only through past documentation, but we want to show that in the future, potential perpetrators should think twice because they will be captured on satellite imagery as they commit their human rights crime. We want to engage in interdiction. SSP provides near real-time information about where attacks and civilians are currently occurring and who is allegedly committing them. SSP gives the media confirmed scientific, scientific information that alerts um, to world to abuses, sorry about that, um, alerts the world to abuses. And I think this is one of the most interesting things that we've done is that we are creating not just another 250 page Human Rights Watch or Physicians for Human Rights report. We are creating visual, viral, short reports that can be viewed on, on an iPhone, that can be tweeted, that can be put on a Facebook page, and that's the whole report. The image is the report with about a page of text. So our goal here is we want to, through Satellite Sentinel, not only in terms of, yes, the satellites, but also the means of communicating an urgent event to a large amount of people in a way that they will, anyone will see it and say, whoa, man. We're trying to get the whoa, man effect. And for so long, the human rights community has been about drowning you <laughs> in data and drowning you in documentation and taking months to deploy people to the field to produce something after the war is over and the refugees have come back. What we're trying to do is to show you at the moment in a way that you can put in front of your family, in front of a Congress person, in front of an individual on the ground and say, this is what's happening. 